Hello, you. This is Rebounder on the Commodore 64. And yes, I've literally just been playing Bounder uh, for the first time. And then I thought, well, I might as well do Rebounder. I've never played either of them before tonight. And so here we are. I've literally just played Bounder and... Hmm. Well, it's a bit fancier than uh, Bounder was, wasn't it? Uh, 317 cans of coke. What? Did... I, I, I'd better zoom in so you can actually see the, what's being said on screen there, can't you? Yeah, it's a bit fancier than uh, than Bounder's title speed, but it's kind of like I was saying in, in Bounder. It's still a little not that. I know it's quite flashy, but it's I don't the choice of colours. The, there's something aesthetically just slightly off. I, I I'm not sure. It, it it doesn't rub me up the right way, shall we say? It's not like say. Um, Thalamus games always looked gorgeous, or, or Houston ones. Gremlin ones always looked a bit sort of rough around the edges, maybe, but perfectly good. But uh, why are all my trousers too short? What is a Captain Scarlet? Rob says that at first you don't succeed. Try another way. Captain Scarlet has got wooden legs. Okay. Shriek says, Lager Frenzy, Captain Scarlet is dead, long live Captain Black. Fair enough. I mean, what? The Mysterious say, this is the voice of the Mysterons. The Mysterons say, this is the voice of the Mysterons. Aha. Captain Scarlet says, S-I-G. Why, why are we going on about Captain Scarlet in this game so much? Well, this is it, the end. Play the game. Okay, then. Welcome, Bounder. Game start. That's very, um, paradroid. Oh, okay, we're going sideways on this one now. a wall, I can't get past that. That wasn't entirely obvious. Oh my, this is... This is more difficult, so this is, it's not entirely obvious. Oh yeah, I've got a fire button, haven't I? Right, what does that do? It's up, down, left, right, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I could have energy now for... Oops. Oh dear. Ah! It's just stuck me all the way up there now. Uh, mm. It's different that it's going sideways, but... And there's a bit more colour than the... Why am I firing the wrong way? And now I've hit the wall. Ooh! Hmm, it's a bit... Oh, okay, we've now got a... A boss and I can only seem to fire one way. Oh no. I've got bug roll energy, and I am rapidly dead. Ooh. Right, go for the diagonal, seems to be the way. Hey! Yeah, the... Oh, okay, uh, going down. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now the level scrolls that way. That's that's kind of clever. How the hell do I get past that? Not like that. Oh, bump. It's not entirely obvious what's safe to land on and what's... and what's a wall, like that is. Damn. That's a wall. That's a wall. That's something 
to collect, or is that something that kills me? Oh! Right, that looked like a, 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 like a naked baby or something. Just... Graphically, this is an odd game. Though I do have some mighty big balls there now. Blimey, that was... Um... He just went straight on to me and I killed him almost immediately, but he almost, almost killed me. I mean, he's pretty much wiped out my energy there, hasn't he? Oh! Oh, great. Now there's... Damn. Oh, I, I don't like tiles disappearing at random. That's even worse than me falling off through my own incompetence. That's just not fair. I was over that tile. You could see the explosion landed on the... Hmm. Hmm. How did I end up back there? lives have I got, or shouldn't I be asking that? How, how are these tiles moving like that? I, is that something I can land on? Is that a... Because that doesn't look like something you can land on safely. Oh right, and that's floor that I can land on now. Is it? No? Maybe? Right. And yet I'm dying now. And that's something deadly as well. It's not really obvious, is it? Which you do kind of need. I'm sensing a boss turning up. And I am not particularly strong here. Oh, oh okay. Great, just run me over, why don't you? Repeatedly. And now I've got piddly weapon. Right. Hmm. Hang on, I've got eight lives. There's an eight next to that baseball there. Dead end. Great, so... Oh, okay, so if, if you choose a level without knowing your way... It, it just randomly says, no, that was a dead end, that level. You should have, gone, you should have chosen a different route. That's... that's fair, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll have another go and choose a different route if we can remember the way we went. Really dead or... Oh, that was... That was something deadly. In, in, in the... In the grand scheme of games where you control a bouncing ball, I, I, I don't think Whizball had much to worry about from it, and, and that had a finicky control method at the best of times. But it, I, it felt a bit more like you knew what you were doing, and... Shot, are you? And I just crashed into that wall. It's a bit annoying how they can just fly straight over everything, but you've got to worry about the walls. Right, boss time then, is it? No, I'm going to get deadly before I get to the boss. That looks like a different one now. Let's go up then. Let's hope that's not a dead end 
straight away by going up here. much happening here. Oh, bloody disappearing tiles again. My ball appears to have changed. I, I have no idea why. Is that a good thing? Because when you're not sure whether a power-up is a good thing or not, isn't it? Right, I, I appear to have a different... No, now I'm dead again. Hang on, I've got 13 lives. Hang on, I've got 13 lives, they're not going down. Have I... In, I, I appear to have got uh, infinite lives mode on, have I? I, I could have sworn when it, the trainer said at the start, do you want to choose unlimited lives? I, I said no, because it also had a starting level thing, and I, I'm pretty, did this, I started level one. So God knows how far I would have got. This is where I spend all the time pumping it up. And now I'd probably drop it down a hole, wouldn't it? Ooh. Disappearing bloody tiles, but at least those ones give me some warning that they're cracked and going to disappear. I have no idea what those are, but I'll have them. time? Death time. Repeated death time over and over again. Blimey. Oh, well, if I've got infant lives, I might as well just chase him down and get up closer. I get lots of hits on him, but... Hmm. Oh, well, I don't have any choice in the matter. Let's hope it's not a dead end, eh? It's reversed my controls. Oh, heck. No, 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 now they're back again. No, no. Yeah, because that's good on the eyes, isn't it? Let's avoid that bomb. Let's land straight on that one. I have no idea what that A did. That appear to be a big metal ball now. That mean, is that why I'm cracking those tiles? Is that a good one to land on? I have no idea. I've got another A. I can't seem to... Those controls went weird there again, and I don't know why. firing for all the good it does me and I'm dead and I'm dead again but he's dead now right or she of course and we have no choice so let's hope it's not a dead end Ugh, not a chance How are you supposed to get across to there? Mm -hmm. I keep 
forget and I've got a fire button. Doesn't seem to do much good against those though, does it? Oh, it's boss time already. Where my fire just seems to be randomly up and down or left and right. But it does seem to be hitting him, so... or her. Right, my lasers changed colour. I'm now firing black lasers, which is probably a, quite a neat trick, given the way that light works. And now I, I guess my power is getting drained. It's gone from bright coloured lasers to dark coloured lasers, and gone from two down to one, and... Ah, well, never mind. We killed it. Yeah. Um, let's go left for a change. I haven't tried bouncing to the left, have I? Yeah, it's much the same as bouncing anywhere else. I, you get deaded a lot. Well, this is an interesting bit of the level, isn't it? Um, okay, maybe if I stop firing. Now it's even less interesting. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this till the end of the level? Okay, we're just going to do that. And now I'm guessing we have to wait a while for... Hmm, I guess when designing the level this seemed like a clever idea, but oh yeah, we'll funnel them into tunnel bits and then we'll make them... But it's... Um, let me say it, rather dull. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I should be grateful for the break of tiles disappearing underneath me and walls and stuff that I can't seem to shoot, but... Hmm. Can you tell I'm a bit nonplussed by this all? It's, it's, it's okay, but I can see why maybe not a classic that people rave about. Boss time. Oh, it's you. Oh, there we go. Oh, no choice in the matter. I'm guessing there were probably maps in, in Zap and uh, Commodore user for... Oh no, that's something that not to land on, right? Telling you which way to go at the end of each level in order to complete all the levels and not hit a dead end. Because it's not that the game's going to tell you. What do these do? I, mean, I don't know, but I'm having them. I mean, it didn't seem to do anything for my health. That's still way down there. Damn. You've got to get across there as you're jumping and they're not firing. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Boss time. Okay. How many deaths is this going to take before he goes down? Well, there's one. Is that two? Three? Four? Five? Six? Seven? Eight? Oh, well, I, I would have only used half my lives at that, getting through that bit. Where are we now? Oh, down is the only choice. That'll, that'll teach Yaz. The only way is down. Mm. Mm. Poop. What do these tiles do? It would be nice to know, wouldn't it? I mean, maybe if I 
had a legit copy, not for some hooky digital SD card version, the likes of which we would never have dreamt of when this game came out. That does look like either a naked child or a naked, like, bald man, doesn't it? I'm guessing in the instructions it tells you what the tiles are, but... Okay. Oh, oh dead already. Hang on, now I've got 17. Oh, didn't I have six? Oh, yeah, didn't I have eight? No, I had 16, didn't I? Because eight is half of 16, so I've, I have gained a life. Just line myself up with him. That works better if I'm in the middle. Come on. Right. I am kind of wishing that I was going to hit a dead end now. Just so it'll be over, because... Yeah, I'm... I am finding it a little tedious. It's... Some people probably really, really liked it, but it's mm, just not for me. I mean, admittedly, any kind of challenge or feeling of uh, you know, actual reward for getting getting anywhere is kind of taken away by the fact that I've got infinite lives and it doesn't really matter now. But before that, and when I didn't realise that I'd used up more than my allotment of lives, it was... Mm, See, yeah, it's they, they've taken Bounder and they've added some more shooting stuff to it and put it in different directions, and the graphics have been scrubbed up a bit. But I'm not feeling it on the gameplay front myself. Also, it doesn't seem like they give you any sort of um, grace period on uh, starting a new life before you can get shot again. It seems to be very easily shot and killed immediately after respawning. Mm, yeah, yeah. I don't know, just... I'm just not a fan of... I think, not a fan of the look of it. It's colourful, but... I just... It's a bit cartoony, shall we say. Which is fine if that's what they were going for. It's just... Mm, and this tune is getting somewhat repetitive. Time. It's a bit Jack the Nipper, isn't it? Well, what are these things? Are they, they powered to the gun? I mean, I'm not gonna, even going to bother going for those because it seems to be more trouble than they're worth because they don't seem to do anything. Although that said, I might as well. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're not, and I've got no idea. Right, and I'm already deaded, so that there goes me weapons. I mean, I could try dodging some of the bullets, couldn't I? That would probably help matters. But not much, really. Ay, 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 ay. Finally. Uh, up. I'll go up. I 
thing, I've got no real urge to see any further levels because it just there's no real variety between them, you know? It's not like the graphical style is going to be radically different or even different cut this enemy is pulling me to the one side and now I've got a wall in front of me and now I'm dead. It, it's not like, oh, one level is going to be I, I know the traditional, oh, one level's icy, one level's you know, deserty, or yeah. You know. But it does it, it does help to have some kind of variety like that, doesn't it? Like if we had a, a, a green level with trees and you were bouncing through treetops, and then a level where you had grey slabs like this, and it would look like a futuristic cityscape or something. And then you had an underwater level that was all blue. But no, it's I, I, I'm, I'm not getting any of that. It just feels like more of the same over and over. Oh look, it's a boss time. go backwards and forwards I, I do okay on this one there we go hmm. choose not much of a choice there I mean I'm just going round at random though I dread to think if you don't actually make progress unless you actually find the right route find a map and find your way around or something like that. Uh. What? what? I... Did I zone out for a second there? It, it looked like it just killed me like I'd hit the wall when I was miles away from the wall. I say miles away, several, several ball distances, but... Only played this with the, with the music on. I because I, I was just thinking maybe some sound effects of you going boing boing might help or, or might actually be also really nice. This gun is wet r rubbish. And I said it was rubbish, but now this one seems to be even worse. Yeah, I'm just thinking some kind of. Bouncing side effect, uh, sound effect would give some kind of feedback as to when you're about to hit the ground, so you can judge your jumps perhaps that way. But constant boing, 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 boing would get really bloody irritating, wouldn't it? Well, how many hits does it take? More than I do, but there we go. Oh my god, I've been almost half an hour on this now. Dead end. After all that, there you go. How irritating is that? You can be playing for half an hour, and I had no choice. I had to go that way. And it's a dead end, and that's the end of the game. And oh my god, I'm never playing Rebounder ever again. <sighs> well, there we go. Well, at least I know now. I've never played it before and always wondered, eh, is it one of those overlooked... Uh, overlooked, yeah. Overlooked classics that you know, no I don't think so really um, I can see maybe you know like I've got a soft spot for um, depth charge and pulse and some really rubbish games uh, maybe if this was one of the uh, few games that you had at the time uh, you could have probably played it a lot and got into it but mm, no not for me not for me Oh, there's a lot of talent in there. There's no, there's, it's not buggy. It's programmed well. There's no glitching. All the sprites move around nicely. I mean, I know I'm damning with faint praise here, but everything works well. But it's like I said with, with Bounder, it's kind of workmanlike. Every, everything's put together, but it needed some polish of some kind to 
add more to the gameplay or to make it look a bit fancier. Mm. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, I'm, I am playing it there with infinite lives, which probably ruins any gameplay. But um, I, I can't imagine, like with Banda, me, me getting stuck and not getting past level two repeatedly isn't going to improve the gameplay any anyway. But, uh, hmm. Anyway, I'm glad I've played it now, because I haven't played it before, and now I have, and now I know. So there we go. Rebounder on the Commodore 64. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.